masonry and cement finishes pose special problems for moisture control. Both materials are highly porous and prone to microscopic cracks and large fissures. Since water intrusion is inevitable, the best construction practices offer a measure of redundancy while directing water away from the structural elements. Both brick and stucco can be easily and effectively installed over wood structural panel sheathing. Use a weather-resistant barrier and overlap the seams by a minimum of six inches. Leave a one-inch air gap between the masonry and the wrapped sheathing. This will allow positive drainage in the event of a breach. Install through wall flashing around brick ledges and above and below all window and door openings. Lace the flashing underneath the building paper. The mortar for a brick veneer house should have a high lime and low cement content. A higher lime content can actually heal tiny cracks that might develop between the brick and mortar. A common mixture to use is five measures of sand, three measures of lime, and one measure of Portland cement. Weep holes should be placed at the base of the wall on two foot centers and in the first course above windows and doors. Without them, water has no way to escape. Follow the local code's requirements for installing wall ties. They will specify the horizontal and vertical placement in addition to the type and minimum penetration for fasteners. It is imperative to keep the air gap free of droppings. Weep holes are ineffective if water can't get to them. The use of a mortar net is recommended. Through wall flashing needs to be carefully laced with a weather resistive barrier before troweling the base coat. APA also recommends two layers of type D building paper underneath the wire mesh. By following a coordinated path of moisture resistant construction and design techniques throughout the wall assembly, you can ensure a safer, healthier and more durable home for your customers.